Hi friends, welcome to Positive Power with your host Michelle Dion. Thank you for joining me for another week. I hope you had a wonderful Easter and an awesome week. And finally, finally it appears, spring has sprung. And that's what we need, right? We need that vitamin D, some good weather, some good positive energy coming our way. So the last few weeks we've been really talking about how to bring good things into your life, how to manifest good things by putting out good and getting back good. We talked about picking what you want, staying focused, um, visualizing, being grateful. Now I want to talk to you about a little bit more of the nitty gritty stuff. So before we actually talk about that, I have this awesome um, thing I came across last week online, this week, whatever, um, that I want to share with you. And I think it might resonate with you a little bit. You're holding a cup of coffee when someone comes along and bumps into you making you spill your coffee everywhere. Why did you spill the coffee? Because there was coffee in your cup. Had there been tea in your cup, you would have spilt tea. The point is, whatever is in the cup, it would have been spilt out. Therefore, when life comes along and shakes you, which it will happen, whatever is inside you will spill out. It's easy to fake it until we get rattled, so we have to ask ourselves, what's in my cup? When life gets tough, what spills out? Joy, gratefulness, peace, humility? Or is it anger, bitterness, harsh words, and reactions that come out? You choose. Today, let's work towards filling our cups with gratitude forgiveness, joy, words of affirmation, kindness, gentleness, and love for others. So what's in your cup? What's your reaction time like? You know, we talked a couple weeks ago about when you feel an emotion, you need to own it. So quite often what we do is something happens and it triggers us early in the day. So early in the day, we get up, we stub our toe, we're a couple minutes late, the shower wasn't the right temperature, our coffee wasn't warm enough. A series of things starts happening, which just in case you didn't know, this is called life because this is the real world. Not everything is going to be exactly as we expect it to be, but you have to take control. You know, we talk about our four powers from time to time and our powers are our thoughts, which is our thoughts and emotions, um, our money, our medicine, our food, right? Very powerful we are in this world that makes us, creates this illusion that we are not powerful, but we really are. So you can take your emotions and put them in check. You can make a decision. So in that scenario where you're angry, so we have two options. We can name it and own it and say, you know what? I'm angry. I had a really crappy morning, but that's okay because now it's afternoon. Now I've made a conscious decision I'm going to own it and I'm going to move forward. Or we can not name it and own it. And instead what we do is we keep justifying it. And that is what that's talking about. It's your reaction time. So as you move forward in this journey we call life and as you move forward in living your life, you know, I posted um, a thing on Facebook recently asking a very powerful question. Are you existing or are you living? Because they're two completely different things. Are you just going through the motions? Are you the hamster on the wheel? Are you just getting on there and going through the humdrum? I work every day, then I go home, I watch my three shows, I go to bed, repeat. On the weekends, I do my chores, I, I fulfill my honeydew list, I go to bed, have my three beer, beers or whatever it is I have, and repeat. Or am I actually living my life? Am I having positive interactions? Or am I checking off my bucket list, right? Am I making friends? Am I, is my friend list full? Am I just focusing on the friends that I have? And that's okay too. Am I getting out? Am I being social? You know, we don't know what tomorrow holds. We, life can change so fast, right? We know that whether it be by losing someone, by having an incident that all of a sudden Part of your body doesn't work the same way. Things can change so fast. It's very important that you take control of your powers. You react in a way, you know, that you're controlling. Pick your battles carefully. We know that one, right? That's how long-term relationships stay long-term. Because 
you you pick your battles very carefully. Oh, apparently I'm out of time. <laughs> That's so funny. Usually I catch that. Anyways, so um, I want you to think about that this week. I want to think about you to think about how you react to life. Are you going with the flow? There's lots of things you can do to help stay focused. You can meditate. You can do more things that just make you feel good. What makes you feel good? Is it baseball? Is this your season? Is it meditating? Is it walking now with the nice weather? Embrace what makes you feel good and that will help you take control of how you react to things. And remember, you got this. There's nothing you can't accomplish. Whatever it is in your life that you're trying to accomplish, you're trying to get a job, you're trying to get a partner, you want um, less stress, then make a decision and go for it. You are just as capable of anybody else and there's no nothing, not one thing that you can't have when you put your mind to it. If that's what you're passionate about, go for it. Because you're an awesome human being and you totally got this. So think about that this week. Think about when things happen, how do you react, right? Sometimes silence is the way to go. Have a great week, look after yourself, and don't forget how absolutely awesome you are.